Today I'm going to be doing something kind of fun where I'm going to call it retro fishing. So I am going to fish like I did when I was a kid. And what I better mean by that is I'm going to be using just a hook, a sinker, and a bobber. And I'm going to go get some worms and fish like that. Now, a lot of people still do that. But what makes this so different for me anyway is I'm not going to be using a bait caster or an open face. I'm actually going to be using some old time retro closed face reel. I haven't used a closed face reel and probably pushed in 20 years. I have some rod that my grandpa gave me that he was cleaning out his garage because they were building and stuff. And he gave me this reel because he was just trying to get rid of it. No idea where it came from. I don't know who it belonged to. But I'm gonna use this rod and reel and see how it goes. Catch you guys at the lake. I'm also going to be bringing another old retro rod. I mean, it just broke. It's, uh, I don't even know, it's called uh, Quantum is the rod and then the reel is, it is a Shimano, there it is right there, no idea what it is, I played around with it a little bit in my garage just kind of casting to make sure it was working everything, it's very annoying, whenever you're reeling in it clicks as if you're like pulling out the string, adjusting your drag, that's what it sounds like. I'll show you guys more. I'm just going to be throwing this light jig on it because it is a super light rod. And we'll see how it goes. I, I have no idea how old this is, but it, it looks pretty old. So let's give it a whirl. Alright guys, so we got our worms, and we're just going to head over to the creek over there, river, whatever you want to call it, it's technically a river. Anyway, so we're going to head over there and uh, get fishing and see what happens. Shoo! Alright, we just made it. I'm going to fish the same spot I did last time, because there's a guy down the other end where the water's a little open, but if he leaves, I'll go down there, and uh, hopefully the hook and worm will be a little better, because there's only so far I can cast out here with that, but we will see. And I'll get back to you once we get it set up over there. All right, guys, just made it over here to the river. This is the old closed face rod I'm using. I don't know how long it is. I don't really know anything about it, but we're going to throw on some worms. I've just got a hook, some sinkers, and a bobber. Like I said, I really don't have that far to cast because it is... I'll get snagged on this crap. So I think I'm going to throw it over there where it's a little more open, a little bit deeper. And uh, while, I'm use, while I am throwing the worm out there trying to catch something, I'm also going to be throwing the jig on this rod. And this one I can probably get out there. It's supposed to be, you know, weedless or whatever. But we'll throw this and see if we can't catch anything. There we go. That lighting's a little better. Let's see what happens. All right. Got it all stringed up hook and a worm on it. Let's get it cast out there. You hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. It's very annoying. This thing is so hard to cast. It only casts like five foot away. And then when I'm really, I mean, it takes like five turns to come bring that lure up just like an inch. It takes forever. I don't know. I don't know if it just doesn't work or if it's just terrible. I don't know. 
I really don't. I guess I'll just keep trying and see what happens. All right, guys, so on the close-faced rod, I caught that one uh, perch or bluegill, whatever it was, and that's all I could catch on this open-faced rod. I mean, it, it barely casts. It only casts like 10 yards out there. I've got the jig on there right now, and I just put a worm on it. I'm, I just cast it out there. I'm just going to let it sit on bottom. If I get a bite, I get a bite. I'm going to go grab my other rods and start fishing with my normal stuff. This is why things are upgraded throughout the years, because they get better. Alright guys, so this is what I'm going to throw. Just on my bait caster, I'm going to throw a uh, Texas rig. It's a frog style worm, so it's going to throw that. This can drop down inside the lily pads and I can rip it through the weeds without any problem. So let's give that a whirl. I'm going to throw on a different uh, lure on here. Same Texas red though. But I'm going to throw on something that's bright red and see if I can get a reaction strike out of it. Alright guys, so the next bait I'm throwing on is same Texas rig like I said, but it's a bright red worm. Let's try this guy out. Alright guys, check this out. Who's hanging out in the water? Hey guys, I'm about to head to the next spot. Uh, it's pretty warm here and it's, I mean, there's not really much shade to go off of. And the park's just getting crowded, so I'm gonna head to another spot. It's a little bit more private. Here we go. All right, guys, we just made it to the spot. So as you can see, that's what I mean. I mean, it's super, it's a lot more steep on in, in life than it is on the camera, but the, look at this water. It's gorgeous. It's so flat and still. There's no debris or anything. And I mean, you can see fish swimming out there right now. This is, this is awesome spot. It's just really hard to fish because it is very, um, it's very tight. There's a lot of trees, lots of shade, but that, that'll be nice because it's freaking hot over in the other park. And I'll be throwing some spinner baits. I've already got some spinners tied on uh, to a couple rods here. And then I'll probably throw on a walking bait eventually. And this is the last time I did a walking bait, the first cast, I was getting a bit. So I will try it out. Here we go.
All right, guys, the spinner bait is not doing it. I've been throwing it probably for about an hour now, so I'm going to switch over to the walking bait and see if I get bit on that. All right, y'all. Uh, I didn't mean to film a time lapse, but I guess I'll go ahead and put that in there. Thank goodness I didn't catch anything. But I did uh, lose my lure in the tree. I'm going to tie on a, another walking bait and try to snag that one and save it. Because I got caught in a tree and then as soon as a blind broke, it fell in the water. So I don't see it anymore. Or at least I might see it. There's a couple leaves over there. It's hard to tell what I'm seeing. So not a good day today. I might end the video, not end the video here, but I might end my day today. Because I got a lot to do at home. Uh, it's, get, it's getting pretty freaking hot out here. So the fish probably aren't going to bite right now anyway. But I'm going to try to get my bait back and I'm going to head home. And the next time you guys see me, we'll be fishing again. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so I didn't film when I got here. But I, I've been fishing at night. I haven't, I've been out here for quite a while. It's hard to see anything besides me right now. Uh, but I just threw some worms on a line cast out there. And I did catch a fish just now. I wasn't filming whenever I caught it, but I'm going to show you now. There he is. Does anybody know what kind of catfish this is? If you know what kind of catfish this is, leave it in the comments. He is bleeding a little bit. He swallowed the hook. He'll be fine. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but he is very, like, um, yellow. And he doesn't feel like a normal catfish I've caught before. He's very, very soft. And maybe he's just a baby catfish of some kind. But somebody help me out. What kind of catfish is this? I have no idea. I think he's a flathead, but I'm not quite sure. Well, I mean, he is squishy and soft, like abnormally. I mean, he feels like alienish. That's what I picture an alien feeling like. But there we go, got one. See if we can get any more tonight. I'll film and let you know if I do. All right, guys, I'm back. And the other rod that I caught that other fish on was that green rod down there. I just caught something on my orange rod. It's the same type of catfish. Look at that perfect lip hook. This is on a football jig. I didn't have any regular hooks, so that's what I did. It's that same catfish, though. So. Not the same one, but same type of catfish. I have no idea, but there's uh, fish number two. I didn't even know I had a fish on it. I was just reeling in, checked the bait, because it had been a long time since I checked the rods. And I reeled it in, and honestly, I didn't even know there was a fish on it, because these are heavy as it is. Until it was almost out of the water, he started flopping. Until that point, I had no idea there was a fish on it. But let me get him off and we'll recast it and I'll see you guys if I catch another one. All right, guys, got another one. This one's a lot smaller than the other two I caught. This is another one. That one got almost right up through his eye, but these guys are eating it. I got to re-rig up my other three rods. They're all just sitting up here right now because they have nothing left on them. But I went to check the last rod and uh, not only did he throw string all over the place, he swallowed that thing and ripped it through his eyeball so there's another one all right guys got the rods rigged back up i got this one here going way out that way this one here kind of going that way this one here kind of going that way and that one going way that way so i kind of covering a lot of water at once so i'm gonna sit back here and go uh i'm just sitting here watching youtube videos watching some lojo kendall gray Guggen squad stuff like that but i'm going to uh let them do their thing. I'll get back to you if I catch anything else. All right, guys. So with a little bit of research, I think I found what kind of catfish I'm catching right here. I think it's a yellow bullhead. I think that's what I'm catching. That's what I'm catching. I think they're baby yellow um, bullhead. So definitely won't be keeping those for any reason. Get back with you if I catch something. All right, guys. Got me another one of these uh, catfish. Uh, I think it's a yellow bull. Yeah, that's what that is. Don't mind the dirt all over me. I'm on the ground, but this one I caught on my tiny little bitty green rod with a completely different reel that's not supposed to be on it. But there he is. That's uh, number four, I think. So let me let him go and uh, get it rigged back up and throw it back out there. All right, guys. So last video you saw, it was about probably one o'clock in the morning, 1.15. It's currently about 2.30 in the morning. And I was packing up everything and then this guy was 
literally just bit the line. I had the, it was my, actually my bait caster. I had it just sitting right there and all of a sudden it took off. I picked it out, hooked him and pulled him in. This is the biggest one I've caught so far. Almost makes me not want to leave now. Uh, I don't know. I think I might still pack up because it is very early in the morning and I'm getting pretty tired. All right, there we go. That's number five tonight. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to end the video here. We did catch those catfish. This is actually uh, probably about four days later since I caught this catfish. Uh, this is where the next video will start. And you can see where I'm headed right now on the next video. Check it out. Uh, I'm not quite sure when it'll be out, but it'll be out soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends and like this video. Have a good one. Leave any comments if you want to see something specific. See you guys.